Good morning, y'all. It is currently 6.43 a.m. So I've been up since 6 a.m., honestly. Just wanted to come up and try to see the sunrise since I'm up so early anyway. I had like a headache last night, so I went to bed like super early. And then here I am waking up at like 6 a.m. But I don't regret it because honestly, watching the sunrise and everything being super quiet and like just so still. This feels good. Anyway, I'm about to do some meditating and then some journaling. Hello friends, I just got ready for the day. If you're new here, hello, I'm Crystal. I'm a 23 year old working in tech, living in Seattle, and welcome to my channel. I document a lot of my life in Seattle, fun things to do, go to restaurants, cafes to eat at, and so if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe and stick around. Before we get into the vlog, I wanted to give a big shout out to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this vlog. If you don't know, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand, but I've been wearing the jewelry pieces for like, like two years or so and honestly I can say that these pieces are made to last but not only that they're also just such beautiful and sophisticated pieces that I think go well with literally any kind of outfit everything that you see on me right now is from Ana Luisa I've kind of been in the market for something small with like a little sparkle and I originally was going for like you know maybe like studs or something but I saw these on Ana Luisa's website and I was like I have to get that because it's basically like gives you the feeling that you're wearing a stud because of how petite the actual stone is on the earring it's kind of elevated because it has the hoop right so but i love it so much and again because it's gold and it's like really simple it pairs well with like any kind of outfit or style that you're going for oh my god this is probably one of my favorite pieces that i've ever picked up from anna luisa but next up is this beautiful dainty pearl necklace and i have never owned anything like this before i feel like for me my default for necklaces is always like something with a pendant like this one here but i like that the pearl are really small and like I personally am just such a sucker for like dainty jewelry that's not like all up in your face you know and like bedazzling so I really like this piece here you can wear it by itself but I like to layer it with this pendant necklace that also has sort of like a pearl stone on it as well Anna Louise is currently hosting their Mother's Day campaign they are doing a buy one get one 40% off sale I already have ordered some pieces for my mom she loves Anna Louisa I gifted her pieces in the past before and she's always loved them so if you're looking for a cute little Mother's Day gift for your mom as well, or just anyone in your life, definitely check out Anna Luisa. I'll leave more information in the description box below, as well as a link you can use. Cannot say enough good things about Anna Luisa and their pieces. I seriously love them so, so much. Also, it is actually like almost 1 p.m. Um, and I just got ready for the day, but that's okay. I'm gonna go and make some food because I'm hungry. I'm going to make some fried rice because I'm craving that very much. I heard that doing it with butter makes the rice really like savory. Hello friends, it is the next day. I'm about to go to Press Juicery because I have honestly been in love with their juices ever since I went to LA and tried them out. They do sell them at Whole Foods, but their bottles are smaller in my opinion. So I'm gonna go to the Press Juicery that's in Cap Hill and see if I can buy a couple for a little bit cheaper. So 
come along. It's also a beautiful day outside. I don't know if you can tell. Very sunny, so let's go before the sun goes away. I'm about to go to Volunteer Park in Cap Hill just to meet up with my brother and Sherry and walk around. I'm gonna put some jewelry on. I feel like I look like a kid. <laughs> Anyway, for dinner tonight, I wanted to try to make tonkatsu or like katsu curry So we bought chicken breast and then we're just gonna try to make it and then afterwards later tonight I want to try to make the watermelon soju because while I was in New York I went to pocha 32 where they serve like the watermelon soju slash melon soju and it was really really good And I just want to recreate it. We're gonna try to do that. Yeah, because it's a super rainy day outside today and Going out is just not the vibe, so but yeah, let's make some katsu. Also, I cut Matthew's hair today. The rain kind of ruined it, but it looked pretty good, I think. Better than what it was before. Yeah, we got a little station here. We got the, the egg, the flour, which Matthew added some salt and or pepper in, and then the breadcrumb. Mmm, pretty good. 